How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie is a guide to improving interpersonal skills and becoming more influential in your personal and professional life. The book is divided into several sections, each with its unique focus and key lessons. In Chapter 1, Carnegie begins by illustrating a principle of human interaction, the avoidance of criticism. He uses the metaphor of kicking over the beehive to emphasize that criticizing or condemning others is akin to disturbing a beehive. It's unproductive, harmful, and can lead to negative consequences. Key lessons from Chapter 1 include Avoid criticism, Carnegie stresses the idea that criticizing others rarely leads to positive outcomes. Instead, it often provokes defensiveness and resentment. By pointing out someone's flaws or mistakes, you're more likely to push them away rather than win their favor. Show appreciation, the alternative to criticism is to show appreciation and respect. Carnegie suggests that we should focus on the strengths and positive qualities of others. By doing so, we can build rapport and encourage cooperation. In Chapter 2, Carnegie continues to explore the core principles of effective interpersonal communication. Here, he introduces the concept of the big secret, which is essentially a fundamental truth about human nature and our desires. Key lessons from Chapter 2 include The big secret, the big secret that Carnegie reveals is that everyone craves appreciation and recognition. He argues that one of the deepest human desires is the desire to feel important. Sincere compliments, Carnegie emphasizes the power of giving sincere compliments. He suggests that people should actively look for qualities in others that they can genuinely admire and then express their admiration. This helps fulfill the universal desire to feel important. In Chapter 3, Carnegie delves into the power of showing genuine interest in other people. He emphasizes that showing interest is a key to building strong and lasting relationships. Key lessons from Chapter 3 include The importance of genuine interest, Carnegie argues that one of the simplest yet most effective ways to win people over is by showing a sincere interest in them and what they care about. People appreciate when you take the time to understand their thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Ask questions and listen actively. To demonstrate interest, ask questions and actively listen to the answers. When you engage in conversation with others, focus on them and their words, rather than on yourself or what you want to say next. In Chapter 4, Carnegie delves into the idea that winning arguments is often counterproductive and damaging to relationships. He presents the notion that, in most cases, it's better to avoid arguments and disputes. Key lessons from Chapter 4 include Avoid argumentation, Carnegie strongly advises against arguing, as it rarely leads to a positive outcome. Arguing tends to escalate conflicts, create hostility, and rarely changes anyone's mind. In Chapter 5, Carnegie explores the consequences of criticizing and condemning others. He stresses that criticism and condemnation can be destructive to relationships and offers alternatives to avoid these pitfalls. Key lessons from Chapter 5 include The destructive power of criticism, Carnegie emphasizes that criticism and condemnation can cause resentment, defensiveness, and hostility in others. It can lead to making enemies rather than friends. Avoiding blame and judgment, instead of criticizing or blaming others, Carnegie suggests focusing on understanding their perspective and showing empathy. Seek to understand their motivations and circumstances. In Chapter 6, Carnegie emphasizes the importance of admitting when you're wrong and taking responsibility for your mistakes. This is a key principle for maintaining healthy relationships and influencing people positively. Key lessons from Chapter 6 include The value of admitting mistakes. Carnegie argues that admitting your mistakes not only demonstrates honesty and humility but also disarms potential conflicts and defensiveness in others. Avoid making excuses, rather than making excuses or trying to justify your errors, Carnegie suggests that it's more effective to admit your faults openly and take responsibility for them. In Chapter 7, Carnegie delves into the art of persuasion and how to influence people by allowing them to take ownership of your ideas. He emphasizes that people are more likely to be receptive to suggestions when they feel the idea is their own. Key lessons from Chapter 7 include Lead with questions. To guide someone toward your idea, start by asking questions that lead them to consider the concept. Encourage them to think through the idea, so it feels like it originated from their thoughts. In Chapter 8, Carnegie delves into the power of empathy and understanding in human interactions. He highlights the importance of seeing situations and issues from the perspective of the other person, and how this can greatly enhance your ability to influence and win people over. Key lessons from Chapter 8 include Empathy is key, Carnegie emphasizes that empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, is a crucial skill in building successful relationships. This means making an effort to see the world from the other person's point of view. 
put yourself in their shoes, to truly connect with someone, try to imagine how they feel and why they see things the way they do. This not only shows that you care but also allows you to tailor your communication and actions to their perspective. In Chapter 9, Carnegie explores the fundamental desires and motivations that drive human behavior. Understanding these desires is essential for effective communication and influence. Key lessons from Chapter 9 include Discover what people want, Carnegie emphasizes that the desire to feel important and valued is universal. People want recognition, appreciation, and respect. Appeal to self-interest, when trying to influence someone, frame your message in a way that demonstrates how it aligns with their interests and desires. Show them how your idea or request benefits them. Chapter 9 underscores the idea that, to win friends and influence people, you must tap into the fundamental human desire for recognition and importance. It encourages readers to tailor their approach to meet the needs and interests of others. In Chapter 10, Carnegie explores the power of praise and how offering sincere, honest praise can have a transformative effect on people and relationships. Key lessons from Chapter 10 include The magic of praise, Carnegie introduces the idea that genuine praise has the magical ability to motivate and inspire people. It boosts their self-esteem, confidence, and enthusiasm. Be sincere, it's crucial that the praise you give is genuine and heartfelt. Empty flattery is easily detected and can be counterproductive. In Chapter 11, Carnegie discusses the delicate art of giving constructive feedback and criticism without causing offense. He emphasizes the importance of being tactful and considerate when addressing the mistakes and shortcomings of others. Key lessons from Chapter 11 include Tactful critique, Carnegie advocates for providing constructive criticism in a way that doesn't demoralize or humiliate the other person. The goal is to help them see their mistakes as opportunities for improvement. Avoid blame, instead of blaming or pointing fingers, focus on the issue or behavior that needs improvement. Be specific and objective in your feedback. In Chapter 12, Carnegie delves into the importance of preserving the dignity and self-esteem of others, even in the face of criticism or confrontation. He emphasizes that allowing someone to save face is a critical aspect of maintaining positive relationships and influencing people. Key lessons from Chapter 12 include The Dignity Principle, Carnegie highlights the principle that people are more likely to cooperate and be open to your influence when they are not embarrassed or made to feel foolish. Avoid embarrassment, in conflicts or confrontations, focus on the issue rather than attacking the person. Avoid humiliating or embarrassing them, which can lead to resentment and defensiveness. Chapter 12 underscores the importance of showing empathy and respect in all interactions. It encourages readers to be considerate of others' feelings and to be mindful of the impact of their words and actions on the self-esteem of those they interact with. 